and welcome back to Reese's Colouring Creations. So today I'm going to do my uh, colouring haul. Well, I'm going to focus on the books in this video, but I'm going to do a separate one for supplies. Otherwise it would be a mega long video. <laughs> As this is covering sort of from the start of the year onwards. So there's quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'll just... This is what I could remember. There might be more, but yeah but this is what i could track down as to be the last few months so sort of january to may um and then i'll do a separate supply haul as well so I'll move the little red panda out of the way and i'll get started i'm going to start with some uh books i got from etsy if you can hear a whirring it's my fan i'm hoping it's not distracting from the video too much um so yeah it's starting to get hot now here in the uk so first of all i got this book i got these all from the same seller uh it's like pomodoro i can't remember the number but uh, the lady that runs it is really nice and she dispatches it really quickly i've got some other stuff uh on the way but i'll put that in my next haul um so yeah, this is a uh, fantasy season, and it's by Yukako Odi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've seen this on a lot of people's channels. I think Coloring K's got it, and um, Jamie's got this book as well. I thought it was really cute, and the Japanese books have always got really nice paper. Um, and yeah, I just and I like how it goes through the seasons, and it like says. The different months so yeah coloring okay did this one it was really nice and she did all like shiny paints for the snow and stuff so yeah i really like this book um so i can't wait to color in it i was gonna do a pay one of the easter pages i think i was gonna do that one but because of my issues with my hands at the moment i don't want to color it because at the moment i can really only use certain mediums I mean, I guess like, I could use watercolour, or like watercolour pencils, but I don't know. It's just using pencils, normal pencils at the moment, it's a bit hard. But yeah, I do want to colour in this, it's just hopefully things will get sorted soon with my hands. So yeah, so that's fantasy season. Uh, then also from Etsy, I got, it's four different ones probably. I want to keep them all wrapped up in the like stuff because I can keep them protected. <laughs> so I got these. They're all sort of by the same publisher. I don't know if they're the same artist or not. So I got this one. It's a rabbit. I can't remember what it's called, and I haven't read the translation yet. I think it's like rabbit's fairy tale or something like that. Um, it's really cute, this little rabbit, um, but yeah, it's really cute, I just like artwork like this, um, so, yeah, and I can't wait to colour in it when I can, so that's that one, and then I got this bear one, it's called Townscapes, Animals, Variety, Goods, Cakes, Flowers, Cooking and Five Bears. <laughs> Which is quite a mouthful. And this is by Nakachiwaka. This is the name that was in the description on the Etsy listing. So I've just written it in. Oops, sorry. And this is the same like cute little style. These bears getting ready for a, a party. And Colour of K's done this one as well, it's really pretty. Yeah. yeah, I just really like the, I mean this is so detailed, but I just really love these style books. Okay, that's that one. Then I got this one, which is um, the Cat's Magical General Store by Moko, or Moko. And it's this little cat that owns a little magic shop with its friends. <laughs> it's quite cute. Line art's almost like this little brownie purple colour, which is quite different. 
Um, but yeah, it's really cute and the like, little story about them trying to track down keys for us magical doors. These are the doors. So, yeah, so that's that one. And then <laughs> I know I like everyone's got this now. But this is the Mouse Yorori book. Oh, let's go traveling with Wild Mouse Yorori. Um by Makiko in a tone and like everyone has this book now um I was trying to resist for so long but I kept seeing it <laughs> everywhere um on Kay's channel on uh, Kate's channel and um it's Imogen's channel as well so I, I yeah <laughs> I gave in and got to it <laughs> so yeah I got that now What's that one and I've got another one coming that's like a new release in that same format it's like fairy tales but with like little rabbits which looks really cute and um I did order oh yeah I ordered this one it's like a doll's house book I've seen it on Sarah's channel uh her, um chronic coloring down under sorry Sarah I completely forgot the name of your channel for a second now uh she showed it in a haul a while back and I was like ooh this looks cool so it's all like little doll houses and stuff and I've been resisting that for a while uh, that also jumped into my cart so now I'm going to do books that uh, I got like in shops when I went into town uh, with my brother so these are some of them are from the work hang on yeah, this will be the stuff. I'll start with what I got from the works. So not those. Or that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, I had to work. Okay, so I got these two books here. Um, yes, okay, they're more aimed at kids, but I just thought they were quite cute. So there's Mindful Colouring for Kids. Um, and... It's just really cute little pictures, and this is illustrated by Sarah Wade and Jane Ryder Gray. So I've got a book by two books by Sarah Wade. That it's like the Catacorns and Other Magical Beings books, which are really cute. So I already really liked her style, and it's just nice to have books like these for when you just want like straight coloring and yeah. Or like with the single sided ones you could do well I don't think this is actual thing no <laughs> but the, the double sided ones have one it's a bit confusing there's no single sided but yeah these are sheets pencils or something but they're just really cute little pictures and then I got colouring by numbers for kids as well and this is also by her yeah and it's the same kind of pictures but with Colour by numbers, or if I want very simple colour by numbers. So, yeah, I just thought they were quite cute, and for three pound they're quite good value. So considering it was six ninety nine, like as a recommended retail price, and they're three pound each, so I basically got two for the price of one in a way, even though it's six ninety nine. But anyway, so that's those. Uh, then I also got. Well, I didn't get this from the works, but I got this from WH Smith. And then I got slightly annoyed when I found it in the works cheaper, but <laughs> anyway. So this is Curiously Cute Manda Ma there. Curiously Cute Manga by um it's by Desti and Jolene Dio at Collateral Damage Studios. And this is a basically there's a cool manga themed book um some are quite detailed others are i mean there are a few less detailed ones but i just really like them and the creepy ones are quite cool um this one's a little bit more simplistic bigger spaces um and there's some more close-up And it sort of has information here, some of them are sort of based off like fairy tales and like myths and stuff, which is quite cool. Oh, this reminds me of like a, I don't know, this, this is really like a tree. 
like a creepy Alice in Wonderland type thing. Yeah. So that one's really cool. So that's Curiously Cute Manga. And then in the works I also got Mystic Animals by Stratton Peterson. Um, and this is, I, I've shown this because I did, I'd coloured this uh, last month, the red panda. It's like lots of different animals and it's got different, it's got like description of like what the, they symbolise and things which is quite cool. And I really like it. I'm not like a massive fan of colouring animals because I really struggle with like fur and stuff. But I was very happy with how my red panda came out. I love the wolf. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice book. Um, and I do have the B page marked somewhere. This one. I really want to do this one because I can see like using like metallic paints and stuff for a few bits. But I will get to it when I can. When my hands want to cooperate. <laughs> so that's that one. Uh, then I got... I was just... Ra I can't even remember how I came across it now. I think it was just a random link to this site. Cool. It was like, I will put a link below when I find it correctly, but it's something like www.birdkids.com or .co.uk and this is an independent sort of company, uh, they sell like art supplies and stuff and craft stuff, more aimed at kids, but they had these really nice looking, this really pretty colouring book, uh, it's French, I, like Les, Les La Rosalie's my colouring but Moulin Ruti which seems to be like a brand um, and it's illustrated by Cecil Brenderman and it's really pretty artwork and it's sort of like not grayscale I mean sort of but it's sort of shaded and the paper is really nice um, and there's 36 yeah 36 pages to colour um, it is double sided but it's really nice there is a couple of others, but I wasn't as interested in those ones. So it's more sort of like architecture and stuff. But this one really appealed to me. Um, and it's these like really... Some of those double pages spread... Double... I can't speak. Double page spreads and then there's some single sided... Well, not single sided, but single page images. And it's just these like girls with different animals and stuff. It's really nice. And the animals are so cute. I just thought it was really nice. I will put a link to the site. But yeah. But it's, I just thought it was different and I'm kind of happy I came across it actually. So yeah. And as I said, the paper is just really nice. It's that's two pages, but I mean it's not massively thick, but it, it's definitely better than like Amazon paper so it's got a sort of texture to it so yeah so that's that one and I thought that was really pretty look I will put a link for that and then in my village um, we have like a fair every year in our town it's sort of, well not a f it's called the cuckoo fair but it basically um, there's like lots of stalls and entertainment and stuff like that celebrate May or something they've got like maypole and things and some people have like different stores where they sell stuff um, obviously <laughs> but like people just from the village um, and it is just I found this it's a <laughs> second-hand coloring book uh, there is some coloring already but it's only two pages the rest of it is untouched and I just thought it was cute and I only paid like 25p for it so <laughs> Yeah, hey, why not? So that's that one. I don't, there's no, oh, oh hold on, illustrations by Daniela Masseroni and Alice DiMarco. Yeah. I think you get this, I think this book was available in, because I recognise that from a place, a shop called Tiger, but I think they've closed down, or at least the one in my town has anyway. And then I got <laughs> this Easter colouring book. Uh, for 150 in a just like stationary shop this is like really thin paper um, <laughs> but I just thought it was cute and I, I don't know I might like copy them onto better paper or something but I just I mean look at the bunnies <laughs> so, 
to a silk one and that's published by Talon I do, there's no artist so it's that one and then the final book that I didn't get from Amazon that I physically bought was this one there's Modern Witch by Hinkula I don't think an artist is given anywhere no let's just use a this is Modern Witch colouring book they're single sided images paper's alright it's kind of like Amazon paper and it's also like black already like filled in but I just thought I got this from the range by the way um I thought I could use this as a sort of practice book and stuff I mean some of the images are quite nice but ooh I like that one but yeah I just thought some of them I might just use as sort of practice for different backgrounds and effects and stuff I might even use this as a sort of practice sort of glass and stuff but yeah I just thought I'd get it as I quite like the images but yeah so that is that one and then I will do the few colouring heaven books I have before getting into my ginormous Amazon pile <laughs> so what the hell was that oh. sorry something <laughs> held down off the bottom of my desk so uh, I got this one, the Colouring Heaven Junior Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I didn't get the collection issue of the Strawberry Shortcake, but I first thought I'd get this one as it's quite cute. And I thought I could just use pens and stuff. Hey, look at that little dog. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I just thought it was cute, so why not? So that's that one. Hi dog. Right, my dog has decided to grace us with his presence. You wanna lie down? You wanna lie down? Uh, then, then I got Gothic the Colouring Heaven Gothic Beauty Special by um oh yeah, this is a mix of designs, uh and artists. This is there's got Chris Ortega. What it says? Alchemy Carter, uh, Anna Marine, Chris Ortega and Sarah Richard, and Selena Fennec. And the gold, uh, hang on, what's it called? Alchemy Carter is like the gold, there. Yeah, I can't speak today. The Gothic Alchemy special. Some of the same images are in here, but line art versions, which is quite cool. Especially as that particular issue. It really intimidates me. I did one page in it and I haven't because it's such like intense grayscale. <laughs> but I really like these. Um and yeah, that one's cool. I have, yeah, like this is the kind of grayscale that's in Gothic Alchemy. It's like how do you even anyway <laughs> and these are Selena Fennec ones. Chris Ortega somewhere I think she's in the back so is that Anna Marine I'd never heard of her artwork before they're just quite cool yeah these are the Chris Ortega ones at the back from her gothic book which I haven't got which I really want uh, but I will make do with these for now so yeah so that's that one the dog has disappeared uh, then I got the Colouring Heaven collection vintage costume by Jasmine Darnell. I wasn't actually sure about this one, but I quite like it because it's sort of like manga s kind of style. Although some of the dresses are very intricate. But I just kind of liked it. So, yeah, some of them are really pretty. So, yeah, here's that one. If you want any foot throughs of any of the books I show, let me know in the comments and I will get to that. Uh, then I have the 100th special of Colouring Heaven, 100th issue even. This is an Enchanted Animal special by Kanoko Agusa. And um, yeah, I have the other two issues she did for them. And I'm st I've only still got one page. <laughs> well, one page and a whip. Because just again with the animals, I really love her artwork. It's just so I want to do it justice. 
I'm really cat with the ice cream. Yeah. He is really cute. Okay, yeah. So that's that one. And then the final Coloring Heaven is uh, the Coloring Heaven Manga Fairy Special, which is the recent special released by how do you Stinara? I might be saying that wrong. And this is really pretty special as well. Uh, some more detailed than others. I haven't yet to do anything with it yet, but it's a really there's some really nice pictures in there. So that's that one. Uh, then Amazon. <laughs> now I'm not sure if I've shown this one before. I got it quite a while back, but I just I remembered it being. I don't know. I can't remember when I got it. If I have shown it, I apologise. But this is Chippy Girl Spooky Adventure Coloring Book by Larissa May. Yeah. And I yeah. We all know I like creepy spooky, creepy spooky stuff. And I still have not coloured in this. But it's yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, so that's that. But that one. Uh, then I took a chance on this book by Miss M M Mythic Art. As uh, which coloring book? There was an artist listed on Amazon, but I'm gonna have to. I'll have to find it and put it in the. Because it doesn't seem to say it in the book. But I can't remember her name. But it's some really nice, they're sort of grayscale like images, but they're not like really grayscale, so I think I'll be okay with it. But they're just really pretty witch pictures. And yeah. So, yeah, I thought it was quite a nice book. And they've got a fairy one as well, and I think they've recently released the dragon one as well, so there's that one. Then I got Cute and Creepy Colouring Book by Colouring Book Cafe and I'd had my eye on this one for a little while um, but I finally got it. There's some of them are themed after like horror villains which I quite like where I now can't find any of those ones. It is like a creepy Snow White which is quite cool. Where's the... It's like a Freddy Krueger one somewhere. I thought. The mummy. Which from the front? Yeah, it looks like a Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah, they're quite cute and creepy. So that's that one. Then I got this one, the Spooky Vibe Girl. And this is by what's her name? Annie Am. Annie Anson and this was another kind of like I didn't really I mean I only had the sort of back of the book to go on but I really like these uh, this is yeah <laughs> creepy cute once again some more detailed than others there's quite a few images in here as well I think there's like 40 images and so it was only like Six pounds, I think five, six pounds. Oh, that's quite good for that price. So, yeah, so that's that one. Uh, then I got, sorry, I'm speeding up a little bit because this is getting like a long. Um, <laughs> I got the Aria Vale coloring book by Chroma, and I'm sure everyone's seen this, but I, I gave them. It's really cute. So, yeah, I got that one. Yeah. Um, I hmm. I might actually do a part two with books because this is going to get really long otherwise. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in part two. Thank you. Bye bye.